accounted for almost two-thirds of the bank's entire profit, so it's still doing pretty well. Definitely, and as I say, you know, Barclays have drawn up a list of all the business lines that they have and decided strategically how they will treat those businesses going forward. Some of that investment banking business will be transitioned or repositioned or even exited and some of it will be invested in over the, the next couple of years and, and grown. They do see Barclays investment banking to be key to the bank going forward. They're not pulling out of it entirely. They're simply, um, you know, tinkering with what they do well, what makes money for them, what works within their strategy. Okay, and if Barclays results were okay, uh, Credit Suisse earnings were even better. Certainly the headline was much better. Um, I know you're not an equities analyst per se, but the bank's offering a dividend perhaps. Um, that must reflect well on the general health of the bank, no? Well, certainly. I mean, the thing about Credit Suisse that, that I'm interested in is that last year, the Swiss regulator singled them out and criticised them for the level of capital that they have, which really sort of speaks to your dividend policy. The fact that they are now allowed to, to pay a dividend reflects the progress that Credit Suisse has made in building up their capital from what they were criticised last year to a very defensive capital position, to face off the new Swiss regulations that are very tough on a European basis. And they're, they're nearly at their target of 10% look through um, basically Basel III equivalent core um, equity tier one ratio, which is very, very strong.